Hello everybody, uh, good morning. Um, wish I was there with y'all today. Um, taking these next two days off to take care of my baby, my son. Um, if you haven't heard, over Christmas break he was born. Um, a little small, so um, we're going to take these next couple days to take make sure everything is okay with him and, and get some more testing observations done. So, um, uh, even though I wish I was there, uh, I just want to take care of this stuff before I get back. And if everything's okay, I'll be there on Monday. Um, nothing to worry about. He's perfectly healthy. We just want to be very precautious about um, him. So, thanks for all your concerns. Thanks for all the greetings. And uh, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Um, this next chapter that we're going to start this semester is going to be trigonometry. So, um, I want to get through all this trigonometry stuff and then we're going to get into some calculus. Um, I know some of you don't like math, but for a, a large amount of you, you're going to take math and calculus, uh, specifically calculus in college. I need to get you guys ready. So um, trigonometry first, and then we're going to get to some calculus, uh, at least in the last half of this year. So we're going to start off with radian degree measure. I'm not too sure how much trigonometry practice you got in geometry and algebra 2. So we're going to start basically from the ground floor. Um, Today we're going to do, or essentially before we start, uh, there's a packet of notes. Um, hopefully it's handed out to you. It's all of section four. So this is just part one of the, the notes. So if, it's, if you want to hand it out, if you want to pause me, make sure everybody has these notes first. Before we start, uh, maybe you can do that. And then we'll get back to the notes. Okay. So in trigonometry, there's a different type of units. And the new one that you may have heard and may be super confused about, they're called radians. Okay. So in this section, what we're going to do, um, I want you to know how to describe an angle and how to use radian and degree measures. You should be very, very familiar with what degrees are, like a full circle is 360 degrees. But a lot of you may be very uh, hesitant um, about radians. Okay? So here's, uh, and trigonometry literally means the measurement of triangles. Okay? So a lot of vocab, a lot of nuts and bolts before we get to the application stuff. So here's a x-axis, and when they measure angles in trigonometry, they start with this section of the, um, the axis. They call this the initial side. So if I want to go 360 degrees, I start from here and go around 360. Or if I want to go 90 degrees, I go starting from here and go up. So this is the initial side. You always start over here. Theta is another name for a variable. So in algebra, we always use x as our, as our variable. So like, what is x? Always find x. So that people aren't confused, for angles they use this, this uh, symbol called theta, which is just x for degrees. When I go up and wherever I stop, they call that the terminal side. Okay? And then the, I mean you know this part, but the middle part, so the, the part that intersects the terminal and the initial side is called the vertex of an angle. So this is called the central angle, this, this theta. And if I, it's a positive angle, if I say go positive 360 degrees, it means start the initial side and go counterclockwise. Okay? If I say negative angle, say go negative 360, or I say go negative 90 degrees, that means start the initial side and go um, clockwise, go backwards this way. Okay? So those are just some vocabulary words you need to know. A radian, and some of you maybe know, you know what's a radian, and this definition might confuse you. It says one radian is the measure of a central angle of theta that intercepts an arc s equal in length to the radius r of the circle. Okay, so some of you are saying, what the heck does that mean? Well, here's this picture. Essentially, it's saying when this, when the radius is the exact same length as the arc right here. So whenever this is the same length as this, that is called a radian, or this is one radian long. Or another way of thinking about it, 360 degrees. Um, is the same thing uh, as the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Okay, So this is my conversion factor, and I'll show you how to use this later. Uh, just write it down for now, but essentially the radian in degrees conversion is 360 degrees, the same thing as 2 pi r. So if this is one radian, looking at this picture down here, um, this is one radian, this is two radians, three radians, so this, the length of the arc that is the same distance as a radius is called a radian. And so if you're saying, like, why is that important? Well, in trigonometry, it's a lot easier than degrees, even though it doesn't look like it. Okay. So in terms of radians versus degrees, um, well, we'll talk about that later. But in terms of coterminal angles, this, this vocab word right here, this means they're angles that are the same, they're different values, they're 
totally completely different uh, values or numbers, but they represent the exact same place on the circle. To do that, um, if you're given a, a radian measure, you can tell what a radian measure is because it has a pi in it, so these are radian measures. As opposed to, you see how this is the degree because it has a little degree symbol. So here are radians, here are degrees. To find out what the coterminal angles are, essentially you're going to go around 360 degrees and it'll be in the exact same spot. So if you ever go someplace and you go 360, you're in the exact same spot. So to find coterminal angles, you're either going to add 2 pi or add 360 degrees, depending if you have radians or degrees. So do you see how these three are all radians? To find the coterminal angle, you're going to add 2 pi and subtract 2 pi. Okay? So the first one, let me add 2 pi. And those of you that remember how to do fractions, you cannot add these um, until you have a common denominator. So instead of saying 2 pi, instead I'll call this 12 pi over 2. Oh, sorry. Um, 12 pi over 6 is the exact same thing as 2 pi. When I add across, I'm going to get 25 pi over 6. It can't be reduced. So this is the first coterminal angle. So what that means when I go around the circle, 13 pi over 6 radians, that means the exact same thing as 25 pi over 6 radians. Okay, that's a, they're coterminal. By the same token, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to subtract 2 pi. I already found the common denominator. So what happens if I subtract this instead? So if I subtract this, 13 pi minus 12 pi is just pi over 6, or 1 pi over 6. So my coterminal angles for 13 pi over 6 is 25 pi over 6 or pi over 6. Okay. And so you may be confused, what does this mean? What are we doing? Just feel comfortable with the process first, and when I get back, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit more. Okay, letter B. I'm trying to find the coterminal angles for 3 pi over 4. So I'm going to add and subtract 2 pi. Again, I can't add or subtract unless I have a common denominator. So what I'll do is I'll multiply top and bottom by 4. So this will become 8. And this becomes 4. If I add them, I get 11 pi over 4. That can't be reduced. And if I subtract them, I get negative 5 pi over 4. So those are my coterminal angles. And the last one, I'm going to add and subtract 2 pi to this one. I need a common denominator, so I'll multiply top and bottom by 3, which makes this 6 pi over 3. If I add them, negative 2 pi, 2 pi, plus 2 pi, negative 2 pi plus 6 pi will be 4 pi over 3. And then if I subtract negative 2 pi, minus 6 pi gives me negative 8 pi over 3. So those are my coterminal angles. Hopefully you guys are okay at coterminal angles. Um, in the worksheet I'm going to give you guys today, there's also degrees. So if you get in degrees, just remember you're going to add and subtract 360. Okay. In this case, because these are radians, because they have pi, this is a radian, this is a radian, this is a radian, I added and subtracted 2 pi. But in your worksheet today, if it's in degrees, you're going to add and subtract 360. We're going to skip over complementary and supplementary angles. I don't think it's that important. But the last thing you need to know today is how can you convert between degrees and radians, okay? So if you have 360 degrees, how many radians is that? So if you have blah, blah, blah. This picture represents the three biggest or the three main conversions you should know at the top of your head. You should know 2 pi is 360 degrees. You should know that pi is 180 degrees. These are the easiest ones. If I keep on going, pi over 2 is 90, pi over 3 is 60, pi over 4 is 45, pi over 6 is 60, uh, 30. So these six, at some point, you will remember it. Some of you may think I'll never remember it, but you will. I promise. If you want to convert to radians, here's the unit conversion. And since you guys are juniors and seniors, at some point, you should have seen unit conversions in some class. If you want to convert degrees to radians, you multiply pi over 180. If I want radians over degrees, I'm going to multiply by 180 over pi. Or essentially, the unit conversion is pi radians equals 180 degrees. Okay? So I'm just going to do one example of each. I think you guys will get this. But what if I want to make this in radians? This is a degree measure. I could tell because it has this degree symbol. I'll make it into radians. So 135 degrees. 
and I need to do my unit conversion. Well, looking at numbers one and two, okay, I have degrees and I want to convert it to radians, so which is number one, which says multiply by pi radians over 180. So I'll multiply over pi radians over 180 degrees. Doing my unit conversion, my degrees cancel, so these cancel. So all I'm going to do is multiply across. My answer is going to be 135 pi over 180, and that's in radians. Um, just for sake of time, you, you're expected to reduce this. I don't know off the top of my head how to reduce this, uh, or how is this reduced, so make sure that they're all reduced as well. This one, it says negative 270. Um, exact same process, negative 270. So you may be confused, like what do with the negative. Multiply by pi radians, and just to shortcut, I'll just do over 180. Degrees from here, cancel with degrees from here. So my answer is negative 270 pi over 180. And you should know, since I've converted this to radians, you should get a pi. Um, and this one I know how to simplify easily because 90 goes into each of them. So 90 goes into negative 270 um, three times and 180 two times. So negative 3 pi over 2 is going to be the answer reduced. Okay. And the last one for today, how do you convert from radians to degrees? I'm looking at number 2 in my notes. It's just 180 over pi. So looking at A, I have negative pi over 2 radians. And to convert, I multiply by 180 degrees is the same thing as 1 radian. Oh, sorry, pi radian. So my radians units cancel, which leaves me with degrees. So when I multiply this out, and also when you convert to degrees, you know you shouldn't get pi at all. And not only do the rad, rad, the rad the radians units cancel, also these pi's cancel top and bottom, right? I can also reduce this 180 and 2, right? So this becomes 90 and this becomes 1. So old school reducing. So it becomes negative 90 over 1, or negative 90 degrees is that conversion. So all I expect you to do today for the worksheet in class, we're going to go a little bit slow, but it's, um, the topic might be a little bit confusing to you. I want you to find coterminal angles, which for radians is add and subtract 2 pi, which for degrees is add and subtract 360. And the second thing I want you to do is take a measure, a degree measure, and convert it to radians, and then take a radian measure and convert it to degrees. So you're going to work in the worksheet in class. I'm actually not going to have Mr. Robinson collect these until tomorrow, so hold on to it. Um, in tomorrow's video, I'm going to talk about some of the answers, see if you guys are confused about anything. If you guys are really confused, uh, confused feel free to email me or uh, message me on Schoology. Uh, um, you could, if you like Twitter, you could tweet Mr. Salmingo. I'm going to use more Twitter this semester, so um, let me know if you need help. I always encourage you to um, work with each other as well and um, try to get this. Uh, I'll see you in tomorrow's video, and in person, I'll see you guys on Monday. Take care.